Hi, I'm Mike Massimino, and this is Inside the International Space Station. I'd never seen anything like it in space before. Uh, effect of the green flash. And I am inside the flight control room, and we're getting ready to speak to Dan Burbank and Don Pettit. They're in space, and we're going to see what they're up to. Hey, Don and uh, Dan, how do you hear? Hey, Mass, we got you loud and clear. Comet Lovejoy, and we want to ask you about that, uh, Dan. Did you know what you were looking at, and how did that all uh, come about? Actually, I had no idea. And, um, and, and we do get, I get Astronomy Magazine and Sky and Telescope up here. Haven't had a lot of time to keep up with current events in them, but I had no idea. And it was one night late at night, I guess December 20th, around 11 p.m., and I was in the cupola watching some storms and lightning at night um, uh, just north of Australia. And the sun was about ready to come up. And right where the sun would be coming up, there was this vivid uh, greenish white line projecting perpendicular from the horizon straight up as far as I could see. And I had no idea. Very, very bright. And uh, it wasn't until the next day that we'd heard it was a comet. So what, what did you think it was, Dan? You had absolutely no idea. Did you think you, you know, saw something? Uh, what, what went through your mind when you saw that thing? Actually, I'd never seen anything like it in space before. It did occur to me that it's possible it could have been a comet, but there was no comets of any significant size. I knew that while we were, while we were in, uh, on space station. So I knew there was nothing except for one very, very distant one that was, uh, would be very difficult to see without a telescope. And I hadn't even looked for that one before. So it occurred, it occurred to me it could have been a comet. Didn't know how one could sneak up on us like that. And at one point I'm thinking maybe this is some uh, effect of the green flash, for example, at sunrise, sunset, you may see this, but the fact that it stayed for such a long time and projected across such a, you know, a long 20 degree or so, uh, I guess about 10 degrees uh, across the sky, uh, I, I don't know. I just really didn't know at that time what to think. I drew it in my uh, crew notebook, uh, took one hasty picture that was poorly composed, uh, worse than even my, my, uh, my, uh, my previously you know, worst composed pictures. And it was the next day that we actually had some opportunity to take some shots and spend some time. And by the next morning, we had heard from our scientists exactly what it was. Well, we really enjoyed the, uh, the photos you sent down. It was just spectacular.